Yeah, so my name's Alyssa. And I'm Jaden. And we're from Utah in the United States. And we, once our son was diagnosed, we started looking into any avenue out there to go ahead and, you know, better his quality of life. And we stumbled upon stem cell therapy. Numerous podcasts, numerous studies all kind of led to one general direction. And so we decided to take a leap of faith. And we had one round of stem cell therapy that honestly changed our lives for the better, like night and day difference. Obviously we would do anything for a better quality of life for our son, but it was, can we afford it? Is it going to work? How far are we gonna have to go to get this? Because traveling with a neurodivergent individual, um, you know, planes aren't always conducive for that. Um, but I would say this has been 10 out of 10, any, better than anything I could have dreamed of. So easy, so much easier to get here get the treatment and it's affordable. And even after like one round, we're back here for number two because it was just that diff like life-changing for us. Yeah, we had a long checklist of qualities that we wanted in the stem cell clinic that we were gonna choose. Like she said, we interviewed over a hundred. We talked to every clinic we could find, talked about their procedures, talked about how, where are we gonna stay? What are they gonna do besides the stem cells? How can we accommodate for our family? Can we get a ride from the airport? Just so many little things that all added up and Geostar checked every box that we had. The plane ride to Mexico was three hours to JFK, three hours down here. It wasn't too bad at all. He slept for both the flights. He was a happy little guy the whole time. Taxi rides, he could sit in the back. He can look out the window at the lights. Personally, we like talk to the doctors and we kind of get like an understanding of their knowledge um, how well versed they are and we just gained a lot of trust with the ones here at Geostar and honestly everything's been smooth sailing so I'd say things all started back home in Utah we hopped on a plane and then we arrived here in Cancun and then we actually were picked up at the airport and then they drove us up here to Playa del Carmen we got dropped off where we chose to stay we chose an apartment so we had like a kitchen it was amazing we got to hang out on the beach the first night we were here so it kind of seemed like a vacation even though it was actually here for a medical procedure we got to treat it like a vacation too so it was you know two birds one stone and then the next morning bright and early 8 45 in the morning they come and they picked us up they took us to the clinic it was only about 15 minutes away from where we're staying super easy then we came in i really love the sedation portion of the stem cell therapy here they actually do um, a syringe, no, no tip on it. They just inject a fluid into the nose and that actually starts making the individual a little bit more groggy. Um, and then they actually use a gas method of sedation, which is super awesome. So you actually don't have to get poked by a needle beforehand. So that was way less traumatizing this time around than the last round of stem cell therapy we got elsewhere. Um, then once treatment was over, uh, we waited for our son to wake up. And then once he woke up, took a few drinks, made sure everything was good, we went ahead and went back to where we were staying. And then it was another beach day, I would say. So really minimal treatment, nothing crazy. And then the next day we went to like markets, we went shopping quite a bit. There's three days of rest in between treatments. So we had plenty of time to go do what we wanted, kind of, you know, check off our vacation list since it's kind of a two for one situation, but yeah, super easy. And then on the final day, which is today, we came in and Oscar's in right now getting treatment. And then we'll go ahead, go back to where we're staying, and then we'll fly home tomorrow. Once we went through our first round of stem cells, it was just a waiting game before when can we do this again? How much change can we see? How much can we help Oscar? Uh, and it's been one of the greatest parts of our lives, seeing him go from nonverbal and no communication, no eye contact, to being able to communicate a little bit, a little bit of eye contact. He's happy, he eats food. He just does so much better. So it was a, how long can we wait? Six months after we got the first round, we're here again getting round number two. Honestly, the care that we received here is honestly one of the best that we've ever seen. The facility is so clean, everyone's so kind. They explain the process through and through for a worry wart mom like myself. It's really intimidating going in and knowing that you're going to sedate your child and go through treatment, but they made every step of the process super easy, very streamlined. And honestly, like our son, he's had no discomfort. He is happy to see the personnel, which is honestly odd. Every time that we've ever went to the doctor, anytime he sees scrubs, he hates them and can't stand being in that room with them. But now here, he loves them, he smiles, he waves to them. Uh, he's not scared of them whatsoever. But yeah, it's been an amazing process all in all. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how he responds to this round. The ratio of medical personnel to patients here is really high. There's 10 people taking care of us and there's only four of us here in the clinic us to our daughter and our son um they 
explained every step of the way. They got us breakfast. They got us coffee, anything that we need, blankets, chairs. They've got our daughter watching TV right now by herself, just hanging out. So everything's been incredible. Everything you could think of that they could need to take care of, they take care of, they explain it. They do a great job. My main piece of advice would be to take the leap of faith. If we hadn't taken the leap of faith, I don't know where we would be. Um, honestly, if you would have told me a year ago our son's doing as well as he is six months post stem cell therapy, I wouldn't have believed you. I really remember telling someone, they asked me, like, why are you doing this? And I distinctly remember telling him, the worst thing I can do for my child is do nothing. And so we're here. We're doing something. We took the leap of faith. It's proven worth it. We're here, number two. And I fully believe this is honestly the missing link. Yeah, stem cells has been an absolute life changer for us. Um, we did a ton of research. We knew exactly what we wanted. When we were going to book the trip. We knew every procedure we wanted to include. So it was just a matter of finding the right clinic and spending the money and doing it. And yeah, it's a big chunk of change, but I'd pay 10 times that for the results that we got. It's been so great to see our son communicate, have a better life. He just seems so much happier and able to enjoy himself in the moment. So that's that's what I'd say. Take the leap of faith. Just do it. It's worth it. It's great. It helps so much. My name's Alyssa. I'm Oscar's mom. I'm Jaden. I'm Oscar's dad. And we've loved everything here at Geostar, and we're so excited to see how our son benefits from round two of stem cell therapy. Take the leap of faith. Don't just wait for things to come to you. Do it. Yeah, Geostar's been absolutely incredible to us. It's our last day here. Um, we're just wrapping up the final touches now, and we're excited to see all the results that we can get from it. And I wouldn't be surprised if if we need to, if we were back here in six months. It's, it's been a great experience. It's been a great clinic. All the doctors are incredible. The nurses are incredible. The whole staff, even the receptionist, is bubbly, nice, gets everything we need. Everybody's been incredible for us. So if you're thinking about doing it, just do it. It's great.